What are we really afraid of? Seeing isn't believing, feeling is believing. It's very natural to be fearful, to feel this anticipation about things that are scary. What is it that can really motivate us to step outside of our comfort zone and also to step into risk as a way to reach something better? When we witness others taking risks who are clearly going out of their comfort zone, we can be inspired to go beyond our own comfort zone. And we're trying to protect our own. We got this. We know how to do this. You can do something better than me. We need you. So what's missing? We are willing to give our trust. But you need to be able to come together and collaborate as humans to do really great things. When someone shows that they believe in us, we feel more invited in. They were more inclined to believe people when they seemed to believe in us. What's missing is something really human. Because of the changing risks around us, we need to do things differently. We have engaged in a most original way to explore anticipatory action. With professional acrobats, with circus artists, with jugglers. Wow! You should see what happens to us, to participants, in workshops with them. I'm not talking athletes only. We have colleagues from NASA, from the World Bank, MIT neuroscientists, an 87-year-old blind amputee doing headstands, his wife, 86, doing trapeze, flying. This mindset that Circus Arts brings to us makes us realize that there's so much more that we can do. A lot needs to be done, but people tend to think, oh, it's hard, maybe others won't. Well, you know what? The trust that acrobats create that they engender, that they enable, the constant emergence of awesome, of joy, of possibility, of uplift. It's transforming. We are having a blast and we are transformed. Each one in different ways, but everyone engaging in this work is saying, what I've just learned via juggling, partner acrobatics, human pyramids and more, I can use in my teaching with my colleagues, with my funders, in making contingency plans for disasters, in helping reimagine risk management, in helping promote the right smart investments. This is a fascinating way to connect what we know with what we can do, from knowledge to anticipatory action. I am Seth Allen with NASA's Disasters Program. What I've learned here this week was the importance of rhythm among teams. It struck me that the practice and the coordination among these teams fosters a great sense of predictability so that you know what the other person is doing. This can lend itself in teams, no matter where it is, to have higher performance. In a world of chaos, knowing what your partners are going to do and being able to predict that rhythm streamlines things and it can reduce cognitive load. It can help you understand where to allocate resources, can help people in disaster situations or emergency management. to motivate people and organizations to engage in anticipatory action. Juggling is often used as a metaphor for splitting 
your attention between too many things. But when learning to do it, we learn that juggling is really about intense noticing and about giving our focused attention to precisely what needs our agile, smart, and timely action. We have so much to do when managing climate risks. We need to get ready to look ahead, to see and understand how things are changing. Then practice how to jump into action at the right time. Anticipatory action to prevent collapse. Thank you.